He now writes to invoke God to light the blue touch paper and set the universe going. In other words, he's found, he thinks, uh, an explanation of how it all came to be. Yes. Well, Steve's an amazing character who I've known for 40 years, and everything he says attracts attention, and he's written a very fine book that describes what many people have discovered in the last 20 years. But frankly, he's read very little philosophy and even less theology, so I don't think we should attach much weight to what he says on those topics. Well, before we get to the philosophy and theology, he does say M-theory, and I'm not going to pretend mm -hmm. I know what M-theory is, yes. and maybe you can help yes. me. M-theory is the unified theory that Einstein was hoping to find. Well, it may be. If we look at the history of science, it's a history of uh, unifying previously unrelated things. Newton showed that the force that makes the apple fall is the same as the force that makes the moon stay in its orbit, and then Maxwell unified electricity and magnetism, etc. And the final step would be to have a theory that unifies all the basic forces of nature. And this is uh, one of the main quests of science. And, and M theory, which as I understand it, relies heavily upon string theory, so we go from theory yes. to theory, but it, it's a way of explaining that first sort of trillionth of a second when the universe or universes came into being. Well, it's a way of unifying the force of gravity with the other forces of nature, unifying the very large and the very small. Whether it has achieved this aim is unclear. Many people have worked on it in the last 20 years. Um, Ed Witten at Princeton is the great guru in this subject. He's the world leader, and it's been a focus of interest in the last 15 years. Whether it'll be the right theory or not, we just don't know. It's entirely speculative at the moment, but it's one of the ideas people are exploring in the hope that it may pan out. But as you say, until we have a theory, whether it's that one or another one, which does unify the very large and the very small, then the very early stages of the universe will be a mystery to us because uh, we have a theory of atoms, we have a theory of uh, gravity in the cosmos, but when, as it were, the whole universe was the size of a single atom, we need a theory that unifies them. But you, do we you, don't have that theory. Do you believe we, and this is partly a question of whether it's worth striving mm -hmm. for it, do you believe we can reach a point where there is some sort of equation which people will say, ah, yes, that proves how the universe, ca how everything came to be? Well, I think it's possible, although not certain, that there will be a theory that unifies the forces, and that will be the end of a certain scientific quest. But it won't be the end of